So do you hate it when gravel comes out of your driveway and gets into your grass and then when you're trying to mow you got to stop and throw gravel out? Do you like neatly defined spaces where you can clearly separate your lawn from the driveway? Then stick around and I'm going to show you one of my favorite solutions for doing that. And it's not that hard and you can do it yourself. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly how we do it. Thanks for joining in. So you can see here we're setting a string line and uh, we want to be able to uh, take the blade on the tractor and come along and uh, dig out a trench so that we can uh, have the trench in the right place to start laying our block. So anyway you can see here we're kind of uh, getting it set up and uh, putting a stake in up at the top part and this part right here is where we're going to start making the curve. So anyway, we're going to take this, we're going to mark it with some paint, uh, which I, I guess I didn't get that on camera. You can see here we're starting to dig. So you can see here we had to shift into four-wheel drive. Uh, anyway, just to give us a little more power, you can tell we've got the blade angled, and we're just trying to... Uh, Get a, get a nice little trench in here. We're going to over dig it a little bit and then we'll come back and put in some um, crusher run or maybe even some quick reed in the bottom of this uh, trench and then that way we can adjust our height of our stone. The tractor's uh, doing a really good job of this by angling that blade and then just following just outside that line there. We're able to able to get a trench. Now I know some of you are saying well that would be a lot easier with a, a backhoe or a mini excavator and of course it probably would uh, but anyway this is uh, this is using what you have and so I had this uh, had this blade and I had this idea to do this so this is a really the first time that I've used this blade uh, in this way. Now I went and decided I would angle the blade a little more severe. And uh, anyway, uh, you'll you'll tell here in a minute that uh, that really was uh, too severe and uh, was just not quite giving me the job that I wanted. So we're gonna you'll see it here in action, and then you'll see me change it back. But overall, um, using your uh, your blade in this uh, in this manner does work. You can kind of see here the stress that uh, having it angled that much, the stress that it puts on the blade. And I thought of maybe adjusting that. Uh, hydraulic top link would help. Uh, there are probably some situations that this would work fine, but it's, it's pretty jacked up, so um, I'm going to come back here and uh, adjust that back. That's actually working a little better. we got to come back and take the shovel and clean it over, but it's I make like a little pass and get that corner down in that dig when we got the
So here I'm simply going back and uh, backing in there and just sort of cleaning out this uh, this trench area. So that worked that worked pretty good. Uh, again, it's a hard clay, so just cleaning it out so we can add the uh, crusher run in there to set the stone on. Well, we're back on the job today, and I've got some help with me today. Uh, so hopefully we can get this project uh, wrapped up today. Uh, last week, uh, you, uh, showed you some video of us uh, digging the trench uh, using the Coyote tractor blade. Uh, the ground was very compacted, very hard, so without that, uh, digging would have been most difficult. So what we're doing this morning is we're coming back and cleaning out a little bit, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get that uh, cleaned out and then we're going to put down some uh, quick read concrete mix in the bottom to kind of level it out and uh, set the stone on. So anyway, I'm glad you joined along and if you've been wanting to do this to your drive uh, to make a nice barrier between your, your lawn and your driveway, stick around and we're going to show you how we do it and, uh, and hopefully you'll pick up some tips. So thanks for joining in and we're going to get to work. One bag. Well, you can open. We can know. We'll need a bunch, but just right now, just open that one bag so you can bring me a shovel and more. Well, you want to mix it up and put it in here? Yeah, I'm not gonna mix it. I'm just using it dry. Oh, okay. Yeah, just using it dry. Well, I didn't bring my knife. That's some hard clay there. Uh -huh. yeah, that's some hard clay. All right, get a shovel. And give me a shovel pull right here. Put me a shovel right there. Uh-huh. All right. Bring me several shovels. We'll slide your uh, buggy on up here, and then that way you'll be right at it. There well, you I'm go. assuming that if you put it under there like it once it rains or something. It'll yeah. Kind of harden them up. It'll, it will. Don't stand right in front of the camera. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I ain't used to it. I know. It's all right. I'm going to get you used to it. Alright, put some more in here. I might have to go. Be careful with that. <laughs> Another shovel. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to. I might have to go get some, like, uh, crush run mm -hmm. on the back of my truck because, um... But it, it might be just too deep right here. Basically, what I want to do is right there, just get it down like that. Well, that stuff packs good, though. Yep, like that. All right. Come on here, hard rock. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta have it down. Like I said, once we turn this corner, it's gonna be. Yeah, I'm learning something already. I never would have thought about the, uh, the uh, quick creek. <laughs> never. Well. I hope it's going to be a good, good solution. There's a front and a back of these stones. There's a whole saying, if you start out right, you end up right. So that's what I'm trying to do. Once we kind of get around this corner, see that needs to come up probably a little bit right there. 
That's good, yeah. But I tap it with that. I'm watching, man. I'm watching. All right. So the way these things are angled lets you, uh, like if I need to make a curve like that, mm -hmm. I can just spin it around and it'll uh, make a little better curve. So my hope is by putting this uh, quick read under there, uh, it'll do a couple things. It will... Uh, it will take and prevent grass from growing up through there because it, you know, it'll, it'll make a nice barrier and it'll also stick to these other concrete blocks and uh, help keep it from moving. But once you backfill this with stone, it's not going to go anywhere anyway. Okay, so that's what you mean, stone? You go the, Gravel the, for the driveway. The crush run you're talking about? No. Oh, okay. Like the top coat of gravel. Like what you're standing on right there. Okay. That'll come, it'll come right up to here. Got Once you. that packs in, it's, you know, these are, you could drive over them with a truck and it's, it's not going to go anywhere. Gotcha. Shouldn't go. I can see it already. And one other thing you have to be careful about is uh, right up at the edge of stone. Yes, sir. Is not let that other, that concrete build up in there. That keeps you from getting your stone close. Okay. And see right here, you can look at that and you see, you can see that's kind of going downhill a little bit. But I can come here and take care of that. Just like that. So you see that right there? That's what you, that's what you kind of need to dig out right there. In front of the string. Mm -hmm. On that side of the string now. This thing works better. <clears throat> okay, just to be clear, what we're doing here is measuring on the back side of the stone closest to the lawn with a strain and then taking out a little bit more material so that we uh, can make that turn and uh, and have plenty of room to put the block. You don't even have to go quite to the strain, okay? Okay, so what we decided to do here is we went to the uh, um, Jamerson's up here and got some crush run and uh, we're going to just kind of line the bottom of this and uh, tamp it in a little bit and then that way we'll uh, be able to move right on up there. So the quick read mix is working but I think it's going to take a lot more of it so we're going to switch to this method for a while.
Okay, so we got the uh, we got the wall. I mean the wall, the the stone in for the edging. And we're just going back now, taking a little bit of that uh, quick rate, and we're putting it on this inside edge. The reason we're doing that is uh, we're gonna this side over here will have mulch, so this will keep uh, it'll pack it in there when it, when the moisture hits that quick rate, it'll it'll harden up and really lock it there. And then plus it'll also help and it'll make kind of a weed barrier, so you won't have grass or whatever. Uh, coming up right at the edge of that stone so that's that's the plan so Tommy and and Landon are both working hard today glad to have them helping this is their first day helping me and I tell you it's a, a blessing to have them for sure so what we got to do now is finish this and then kind of clean up this dirt on the edges and then we'll uh, we've got another little project we're going to take a look at as far as putting down stone. I'm going to go back and just uh, give you another view of this so you can see it all the way up through here. And then another one once we clean up. So hang tight. Okay, so we're going to end this video here and uh, just putting the finishing touches on it, going around and uh, kind of filling in on the edge kind of backfilling it and uh, we're going to use regular dirt on the uh, on the side toward the yard and then we'll go back and put some grass seed in there and then that way we'll have grass right up to the edge so anyway I appreciate you following along and hopefully you uh, got some tips out of this uh, we've got another little project to do very similar to this and uh, we might film some on that but if we do that'll be for another video so anyway I appreciate you joining in and remember to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment or two. That always helps. So we appreciate everything. And above all, I hope you have a blessed day. Take care. God bless.